Hello. Hmm. This is the first time that uh, I'm getting in touch with you all to uh, clarify something, and uh, I think this will be the first time that I'll be thinking twice before I speak my heart because I'm anxious that my words might be uh, misinterpreted. Uh, so forgive me if I take a while longer than usual to uh, communicate my thoughts. Mm. And I'd like to do this in English. Uh, in a recent interview, I was asked if I was a supporter of the left or the right wing, and I clearly stated that I believe I'm neutral, and uh, we need to be good human beings first before we identify ourselves with our beliefs, and uh, that the oppressed need to be um, protected at any cost. So uh, further into the interview, I went on to elaborate on how I look at things, and I had quoted two references which uh, had a huge impact on me and. Uh, which uh, left me traumatized for days. In fact, after I watched the film The Kashmir Files, um, I had the opportunity to speak with the director, and this was three months ago. I remember telling him that I was disturbed uh, seeing the plight of the people at that time, and uh, being someone that I am, I would never belittle a tragedy like the genocide and uh, the generations of people who are still affected by it. um having said that i can never come to terms with the mob lynching incident that had uh, taken place during our covid times because i remember seeing that video and uh, being shaken uh, for days i believe that uh, violence in any form is wrong and uh, violence in the name of any religion is a huge sin uh so this is all that i wanted to this is all that i intended to say and that's all Uh, but it was uh, very disturbing to see that many people online um justified the mob lynching incident and uh, i don't think any of us have the right to take another person's life uh, being a medical graduate i believe that all lives are equal and all lives are important and uh, i i hope a day doesn't come when a child is born and he or she is scared of his or her identity and i i pray that we're not heading towards that at least um see 14 years of my life uh, my school life i remember every day going to school and chanting all indians are my brothers and sisters i love my country and i'm proud of its rich and varied heritage um so maybe it went so deep into my head and uh, we as children would never um uh never differentiated each other based on uh, culture or caste or religion so um so any time i speak it comes from a very neutral ground and i was very surprised to see uh, that whatever i had spoken was taken in a completely different way and it was also very upsetting to see that a lot of um, prominent uh, personalities and uh, websites had uh, carried a snippet from the previous interview that i had given even without seeing the complete interview or um, the genuinity behind what was said um i would like to take this opportunity uh, to thank the people who stood by me the last few days uh, because i remember feeling so alone and conflicted wondering what i did wrong and uh, it was heartwarming to see that a lot of people um uh raised their voice in my uh, in in support of me and i felt like they knew me for who i am so thank you so much for uh making me feel like i wasn't alone so i wish you all happiness um peace and love thank you so much